Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about properties of logarithms. I'm going to condense each expression to a single logarithm. So, if I was given this, 4 log base 3 of u minus 20 log base 3 of v. Well, if we want to condense this, I'm looking right in front of each one of these logs. They have 4 and the 20, right? I can write that as the exponent u to the 4th power and v to the 20th power. So, we have log now, base 3 of u to the 4th power minus log base 3 of v to the 20th power, all right? So, we have u to the 4th and v to the 20th. Now, we have both of these logs have a base of 3, so we want to condense them. We're going to bring them together, condense them right there. Okay, we, or we can because they have the same base. When we do that, we see a subtraction. That turns into division. So we have log base 3 of, now, this first one, u to the fourth, divided by the second one, v to the 20th power. So v to the 20th power. And that's it. There's no more that we can condense. And so our final answer again is log base 3 of u to the fourth divided by the best looking v there to the 20th power. So let's recap. We're given 4 log base 3 of u minus 20 log base 3 of v. And we want to condense that. Well, the numbers out in front of each one of the logs, I can write as the exponent of the variable inside of the log. So I did that. And when I condense it, I see, well, we have the same base, log base 3 for both of them. We have subtraction going between them. When I condense that, it becomes a division. So when you rewrite this as 1 log base 3, we can take a log base 3 of u to the 4th power divided by v to the 20th. 